In this video, we're going to review some of the options that you can use with the accordion. Now you'll notice that you can't collapse all of the panels. Well, the only ones that are collapsed are the ones that you're not using, but the currently opened panel cannot be closed. I'm trying to close it right now, it won't close. So if you wanna let your user close all the panels, including the actively opened panel, you need to use the collapsible property. And all we do is set that to true, and then we should be able to close all of the panels. So let's go ahead and refresh our page. And you can see now we can close the active panel. So I can close all of the panels now. Now by default, you use the click event to open the panels. That is, we just have to click to open these. But what if you want the user to be able to open these by just mousing over the panels? You can do that as well. And for that, we just use the event property. And for this, we actually need quotes. And we just specify mouse over here. And let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page. And now you can see I'm just mousing over each one of these panels and that will automatically open the panel. Now when you open up a panel, this is actually an animation, what you just saw right there. That's an animation. And you can control the duration of that animation by using the animation property. So let's go ahead and change this to animate. And let's give it a duration of 900 milliseconds. So let's go ahead and save this. And we'll refresh our page. And there you can see it opens up quite a bit slower. Now, if you wanted that to be instantaneous, you could just set this to zero milliseconds. And so let's see what we get now. And there you can see it's instantaneous. So that's how you use the animate property. And you can play around with different timings. Now, let's go ahead and refresh our page. And as you know, by default, the first panel is always opened. So by default, the first panel will be opened. But what if you wanted by default one of these other panels to be open first? Well, for that, we use the active property. So let's go ahead and set this to active. And we'll set this to one. Now, as you know, computers like to start with zero. So this first panel equals zero. The second panel would be one. And the third panel would be two. So when we refresh this page, the second panel now should be open. So let's see if that is in fact the case. And it is. By default, it opened the second panel. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.